Welcome to this celebration of life service for Carl. I'm glad that you are all able to come and support the family and um, be with us during this time. My name is Pastor Jennifer. I'm the um, pastor at Our Saviors, and I didn't know Carl very well. I got to know him a little bit through Heather, just a little bit, but um, certainly what she told me, a child of God and a loving father and just all over a great man. So hopefully as we move forward in this world, I'll be able to sit down and get to know him a little bit more um, and hear some more stories about him. Um, face coverings are optional um, as per our church policy. So it's really up to you um, if you want to keep yours on the whole time or not. In the name of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter gathers us in worship. Welcome in the name of Jesus to the Savior's world. We welcome, we are welcome and gathered to worship to proclaim Christ crucified and risen, to remember before you our brother Carl, and to give thanks for him, to condemn, commend, commend him into your merciful Redeemer, and to comfort one another in our grief. When we were baptized into Christ Jesus, we were baptized into his death. We were therefore buried with him by the baptism into death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. Eternal God, maker of heaven and earth, who formed us from dust of the earth, and who by your breath gave us life, we glorify you. We praise you, God. Jesus Christ, the resurrection and the life, who suffered death for all humanity, who rose from the grave to open the way to eternal life, we praise you. We praise you. Holy Spirit, author and giver of life, the comforter of all who sorrow, and our sure confidence of everlasting hope, we worship you. We worship you. To you, O blessed Trinity, be glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. I invite you to stand for our hymn, For All the Saints. It's printed in your bulletin, or you can find it in the hymnal, number 422.
QR code on the table also has the bulletin on it, just so you know. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. O oh God of grace and glory, we remember before you today our brother Carl. We thank you for giving him to us to know and to love as a companion in our pilgrimage on this earth. In your boundless compassion, console us who mourn. Give us faith to see that death has been swallowed up in the victory of your Lord Jesus Christ, so that we may live in confidence and hope until by your calling we gathered to our heavenly home in the company of all your saints, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. You may be seated. The family has chosen uh, three different readings today. The first one comes from Ecclesiastes. For everything there is a season, a time for everything, every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. What gain have their workers from their toils? I have seen the busyness that God has given to everyone to be busy with. He has made everything suitable for its time. Moreover, he has put a sense of the past and future into their minds. Yet they cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. I know that there is nothing better for them than to be happy and enjoy every themselves as long as they live. Moreover, it is God's gift that all should eat and drink and take pleasure in their toil. I know that whatever God does ensures forever, nothing can be added to it, nor nothing taken away from it. God has done this so that all should stand in awe before him. That which is already has been that which is to be is already is. God seeks out what has gone by. The second reading is from Revelation chapter 21. And I see the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adored for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of the God is among mortals. He is dwelling with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. For the first things have passed away. And one and the one who, seek, who is seated at the throne says, See, I am making all things new. Also, he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer it will inherit these things. And I will be their God, and they will be my children. And a reading from John chapter 14. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, and believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, I would have not told you 
that I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you may know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This afternoon, we hear these words from Ecclesiastes and Revelation and John that speak to who God is, reminding us of our faith, reminding us of how important God is in our lives. And our faith takes on all shapes and sizes. When we're small, we have a childlike faith where we want to know about everything. And as we grow, we learn and gain knowledge, and our faith changes in who God is. Just as we are individuals gather, our faith is that individual. It's that relationship with God that Carl knew. His relationship with Jesus was important to his life, to his wife, and to his children. He passed that legacy down, that legacy of love for church and family and community. Jeremy, I don't know a lot about you, but I'm sure you are a wonderful person, and I can see your family is here. And your father passed that down to you. And Heather, the same thing. I've gotten to know Heather and Tara and her kids a little bit before the pandemic, as I came five and a half months before the pandemic hit. And what a great family. What great grandchildren that this family has. And it's not about that, but it's about this legacy that Diane and Carol have passed down to their kids and now their grandkids. And that love of Jesus and that faith in their life. I saw some pictures of Carl as I walked in, so I hope you have some time to take a minute and look at the wonderful things he did. The cover picture of the bulletin is of him fishing, right? He loved to fish, loved the outdoors, I'm assuming. I really didn't get to know a lot about Carl, but he sounds like a really pretty man, and I'm really sorry about that. But you have these amazing memories that no one else has. And then you have these amazing memories of your family, but also all of these other people who love you and their family, their memories and their recollection of how Carl influenced their lives. That's the legacy of our faith. That's the love of Christ that Carl gave to each of us. And it's not direct, but it's indirect. And that love is so important. And that's the love that we come here to celebrate. And it's not easy. Losing a loved one is never easy. And especially losing a loved one right before holidays. But know that Christ loves you where you're at, even if you feel angry, even if you feel lost, Christ is right there during this time because of that love that Carl is given, gave us together. This candle that we light is a reminder of his baptism and a reminder of your baptism and your love for Christ. And I... I know from my own personal losses, but I don't know what you're going through, but I know it's going to be difficult. And the Thanksgivings and Christmases and birthdays for the first year are not easy. But Diane and Heather and Jeremy, I hope that you know that God's love is with you in the days to come, in the months to come, in the weeks to come, and the years to come. 
I hope that his grandchildren know that Christ is right there. Even if grandpa is not there, he is in your hearts and in those memories and in those pictures. And that's the love that we celebrate today. That's the gift of life that we celebrate. So remember that today and in the days to come. Amen. I invite you, as you are able to, stand for the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty. Please join me, and Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, in holy baptism, you have knit your chosen people together into one communion of saints. In the body of Christ, give to your whole church in heaven and on earth your light and your peace. God of mercy, hear our prayer. Grant that all who have been baptized into Christ's death and resurrection may die to sin and rise to new life, to share in newness of life in Christ Jesus. God of mercy, hear our prayer. Give God, giver of courage, give us faith to all and comfort to all those who mourn. During this uncertain time, know that our, your love is surrounding us, caring for us, and that we can cast all our sorrows upon you to give us strength in the days ahead. God of mercy, hear our prayer. Grant to those who are still on our pilgrimage and those who walk as yet by faith, that where this world groans in grief and pain, your Holy Spirit may lead us to bear witness to your light and life. God of mercy, hear our prayer. Help us in the midst of things we cannot understand to believe and to trust in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the life everlasting. God of mercy, hear our prayer. God of grace, we give thanks to you because by Christ's death and our Savior, Jesus Christ, restores death and the power of death is overcome by the Christ's resurrection. Open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Make us certain that because Christ lives, we shall also live, and that neither death nor life, nor things present nor things to come, will be able to separate us from the love of Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We're going to continue with the hymn Amazing Grace. It's printed in your bulletin, or it can be found on the hymn, in the hymnal 779.
blesses us and sends us out in peace. Let us commend Carl into the mercy of God, our maker and redeemer. Into your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend your servant Carl. Acknowledge, we humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, and a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive him into the arms of your mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of all the saints in light. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of Christ. Amen. I invite the family to um, usher out first, and then um, everyone can follow. 